Hello guys, it's been six months. When I come to this studio room today morning, when I see the dust on the table, I realize I didn't talk to you guys for six months. I can't believe that, but that's the truth. So what happened? If you remember the few videos before my last video, I told that I'm looking for some interns. What happened when I was working for Virtuza, I was doing a lot of training programs. I may have trained more than thousands of engineers. Maybe some of you who watched this video also like was a part of my training programs. And when I moved to Brandex, uh, I thought like, okay, it's kind of a missing me because training is kind of my passion. So I went to my boss and I went to Osha and I went to Sadiq and I told Sadiq, I'm looking for like five interns. Can you give me some budget? No question asked. He said, yes, go ahead. And then uh, Osha told me, why is five? I also need five. Let's go for 10. So the, after that, I was looking for 10 interns and it was not easy. We posted some on uh, social media, we posted on LinkedIn and within a few hours, we got overwhelming response. And then we went to few like selection criteria and we ended up with the 10. But one decided to drop the offer and then we ended up with the nine interns. After that, last six month, I committed to grow them. Uh, that is why I couldn't do some videos. Okay, why? Because we don't believe we, uh, interns are there to do some boring works. We don't hire interns to do some boring works like a documentation, test case writing, unit testing, bug fixes, those kind of things. I understand like those help them to grow up, but the students who pass out from universities are like empty clay, right? So the mentor can create a beautiful craft. It is a mentor's responsibility. It's up to the mentor to decide what they're going to create, what, what type of thing they can create out of this clay, right? They can create a very beautiful something out of this clay if they can put little effort. So therefore, what I did, I put like two hours in the morning for them. One hour, classroom training. Another hour, solve their problem and like kind of a doing something practical kind of thing. So we went from very beginning up to the very advanced topics. For example, we can we discuss uh, data structures algorithm, which is like a very basic thing. And from there, we went something like microservices, event-driven architectures. And not only that, like we went to uh, deep dive into event-driven architectures. We uh, learn about the Kafka. And then on the other hand, we learn about the security, TCP, HTTP, how in detail these things works. We use tools like Wireshark and we do the packet captures and we analyze those. We analyze memory dumps, we analyze heap dumps, right? And not only that, so we even went to DevOps scopes, right? So we did the, we created the Kubernetes clusters from the scratch and we learned Kubernetes, like kind of deep dive to Kubernetes because I always believing we, if you're a software engineer, you need to know what you're dealing with. I always go for something like a, be a software engineer, but not a programmer. So therefore, we, we, I, I committed last six months for them. Why I'm talking, I let them to talk. Full disclaimer, these are completely their ideas. They came up with the question, they came up with the answers, and not only that, they recorded this video and they edited it. If the music doesn't match, if editing style doesn't match, it's not me, it's them. What I'm doing is I take their video clip and then attach it to this, right? So only thing I told, only in, uh, like rule I put is the entire video should be like a five minutes to maximum six, seven minutes. That's the only rule I put. I didn't uh, like dictate or I didn't control what they have to tell or I didn't tell you should tell this. Okay, this is completely their idea. Okay, let's go and watch that. So the thing about going into an internship is you kind of have to manage your expectations, right? Because the kind of work that interns typically have to do is not the kind of glamorous work that you would love doing. 
So I had already made up my mind to do the bug fixes and the documentation for the rest of the X month. So, but, but instead what we actually got to do was so much better, it's not even close. We got to learn about software architecture patterns, uh, network security techniques, cloud computing, Kafka, Redis, you name it. It was such a good learning experience. My day had to begin at 5.30 because we need to be at office 8 o'clock for 2 hours session. That was not the challenge. Challenge was to remember what we learned yesterday by tomorrow's morning session to answer the questions. After the session, we go back to do some exciting work and go home around 6 and try to recap everything I learned today because I had to answer the tomorrow's question. Every music second was a learning moment, both professionally and technically. As you know, everything starts with fundamentals, right? So if we can make sure we have the solid foundation and we know what happens exactly behind the scenes, we can make the house without any hesitation. Apart from that, we should maintain a good learning curve when it comes to rapid growing industry like information technology. Always start from the basic and you can master the craft, zero to hero. No, no, this question is wrong. You should be asking what was not a challenge because everything was a challenge. Think about it, when we did grade 5 scholarship exam, we thought it like a huge deal. Then we did A-levels and when we look back at that scholarship exam, it felt like nothing. So, same with the university also. Back then, we thought the university projects and workload were massive. But after coming to the industry and working on real-world projects, when we look back at that university projects, we are like, what was that? Recently, I had the chance to develop a complete microservice. After completing it, I was so excited and sent my service to de deployment. And when I get a call in the midnight, I got to know that I haven't included deployment file. So that's the moment I realized still I am an intern. Looking back, I think we could have managed our time better. I wish we had practiced daily. But instead what we did was we just completed the task and just moved on. And simply noting things down wasn't enough. We had to actively recall them and apply to truly remember. Do you know the term CDC, Change Data Capture? Well, neither did I when I joined Fortitude. When I was asked to implement a dashboard for CDC uh, as a replacement for Kafka Connect UI, I was like, is this really up to me? And is this the kind of uh, responsibility you give to an intern? And, but ultimately, uh, because we already have covered the fundamentals of Kafka CDC in our learning session, we were successfully able to uh, deploy it and now it is in production. Yes, absolutely. This internship is a major turning point in my life. It has been a huge boost to starting my career. Now I feel confident in my technical skills. Beyond that, this experience has not only sharpened my technical expertise but also shape me into more adaptable resilience and focused individual so always try to find about how it works behind the scenes and when you are trying to solve a problem look for is there any alternative solutions for your problem and choose the most suitable solution among them by doing that it really helps me out to go myself up and open a new window in the art of the problem solving experience oh i've gained much this was my first experience working with a team of interns where i had a direct sense of responsibility i've made a promise to them that they are going to learn a lot during their interviews. 
boy, I'm sure that they have learned a lot. I mean, of course I had to cut off my sleeping hours drastically. But that's okay. It was worth it towards the end. Dream big, work hard. Stay focused and be unstoppable. More experiences, more lessons ahead. Keep moving, keep going. Striving for excellence. Believe, act and achieve. Learn, grow, repeat. Be an engineer, not only a developer. Great things take time. So, what do you think? This is not only the technical training, also we did presentation like behavioral training and so many trainings uh, we did in the six months. So that is what they ended up with. So what is next? Are we going to hire next batch? Yes, of course. We are going to hire next batch very soon, next intern batch very soon. So how you can join? If you are looking for internship or if your friends are looking for internship, share this video with them and what they need to do is they need to follow my Facebook page and uh, LinkedIn and also forward official LinkedIn page. We are going to publish advertisement or opening on the page like in uh, coming weeks and then what you need to do is you need to apply through that. Keep in mind when we get a reasonable amount of CVs like uh, let's say 500 or 1000 CVs we are going to take down the advertisement and we are going to stop accepting pro uh, profiles. So therefore you need to follow those pages follow my Facebook and LinkedIn and also uh, Fortitude official LinkedIn page and then you can secure this internship. But keep in mind you need to earn it. Okay. So don't apply if you cannot learn. You need to sacrifice this next six months. What we are hiring for you is not to get our work done. We are not in the vision of we hire interns to get our boring work to complete. Okay, you get the real project experience, but more than that, you need to commit to learn. First two hours of the day, learn and then go home, study, do assignments, submit, and then come back next day, learn. That is your six months. We don't give any job guarantee, but we give one guarantee. If you successfully complete the program, you can close your eyes and go and apply for any interview and get it passed and get the job secure. That guarantee I give if you successfully follow the program. So then I'll see some of you in next batch. Until then, stay safe. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.